her picture taken years ago. A Bangladesh girl was swimming through dirty flooding water, carrying empty bottles to find some water to drink. After saying this, I couldn't stop wondering, would she find any? Where will her family? And are they still alive? Because every year in Bangladesh, millions of people lose their homes to floods. Thousands of them die. Under global warming, Himalayan ice melts faster than ever, rushing down to the flat delta of Bangladesh, takes more lives and poverty. We may pity them. But unfortunately, this war and her motherland are not the only things we have to worry about. Under climate change, flooding tragedies could happen to anyone, any country, and can be worse than ever. And drought, the demon of lacking of water, is also affecting people's living qualities in more regions around the world. Rivers dry up, crops and cattle die, and electricity plants cannot function fully. And the goal of my research is to find a new method that can predict droughts, floods, and their impacts more accurately, considering the role of climate change. Now, why is climate change affecting droughts and floods? Well, in a warmer environment, water vapor evaporates more into the air and can stay in the air for longer, leaving the land with more droughts. Meanwhile, more water vapor in the air means when it falls down to the earth, there will be more chances of flooding. And if the flooding occurs on the dry land, it can take more soil and debris with it, which can destroy the roads and houses relentlessly. And we all know that sea level is rising. This <coughs> can increase the flooding damages to coastal regions like Long Island and New York City when storms and hurricanes come. Based on all the information, we're looking into the global temperature, rainfall, soil type, sea level rise, and related weather patterns to establish a new method that can predict droughts and floods better. And also, we're working with a social scientist who can provide information of the future population and poverty under climate change. So that when we predict droughts and floods, we can also predict some of their impacts. These predictions can provide the warnings to governments and individuals that they can prepare accordingly. I really hope that in the future, children won't need to do things like this and need to do adults. Thank you.